This is Lizzie. Now, she's one of the reasons why I've done so much walking. Um, well, I've had two other dogs apart from Lizzie, and so over the years, I've walked around most of Heaton Moor, Heaton Mersey, Norris Chapel, and further afield. And I think walking is just wonderful exercise. You meet people, you chat, you find new surroundings, you find things are happening. You look at people's gardens and you think, hey, I could copy that. And first and foremost, obviously with walking, environmentally it's incredibly friendly because we're not leaving a footprint, we're not affecting the environment at all, it's keeping us healthy. And at this moment in time, we're not actually really being restricted as to how far we can walk. Um, and as long as we're suitably distanced, we can walk with two or three people. But I mean, obviously, we've got to keep our distance. I mean, the problem at the moment is cinemas, theatres, concerts, cafes, restaurants, bars. They're all so problematical. They also cost money anyway. But the thing about walking is it's not going to cost us anything. It's such a wonderful experience and it's not really dependent on the weather. I mean, on a glorious day like today, obviously it's really nice walking. But even if it's pouring with rain, you can go out, get sodden, perhaps, and then you come back home, get dried off, have a nice cup of tea, and you've had a wonderful trip. So we've got the exercise, we've got the fresh air, we've got the scenery. Always you're meeting new people. I mean, during shutdown, because there's not an awful lot more to put in your diary, I actually made a note of all the people I'd talked to while I was walking. And there was never, ever a day when I didn't speak to two, three, four people. And it's a wonderful way of making contact. And you're not a threat to anybody. Nobody thinks you're strange because you're wandering around with a dog. And it's, 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 it's a lifestyle, really. In this area, in the Heathens, we're really, really lucky because we've got open spaces. We've got plenty of distance on the roads. We've got the gardens. We've got river. We've got park. We've got woods. We've got streams. And um, we're just so much more fortunate than a lot of people, unfortunately, who are stuck in flats and terraced houses and whatever. I mean, we really are very, very fortunate in the Heatons, and therefore, I think, we're taking advantage of the Heatons, and I think, therefore, we ought to look after the Heatons. Uh, we need to look after our community, uh, and I think if it doesn't start with our community, how can we consider looking after anywhere else? And I think, on the whole, people in the Heatons are good. There's very little litter. People care for the area. They care for each other. It's a wonderful place to live. So we've put four walks from the Heathens on the website. Two of them are from the river. Now one is a short one from green pastures, basically along the river, up by the Crown. Um, and that isn't all that long. There's another one from green pastures down to the river, along as far as the pyramid, a little bit back up Didsbury Road and then back into the area around the river where there were all the, when Heaton Mersey had a station and there's all the marshalling yards that were, and now it's being covered up and there's a community orchard and there's part of the old tra train track that's been made into a long, nice walk. Um, and it's a lovely area, it's been planted up, there are trees, there are bushes, there are blackberries. And it's an area that some people don't even know is there, but it's wonderful to explore. Um, there's another walk to Highfield Country Park. Now, a lot of people don't even know where Highfield Country Park is. It's actually just across the A6. And you genuinely, once you're in there, you could actually believe you're in the middle of Derbyshire. It's a wonderful place to take children. And the one advantage of all the walks that we've done, and I know that I've only mentioned four here, but all the walks are child-friendly, scooter-friendly, buggy-friendly, dog friendly, have I said bike friendly? They're, everybody can do them. One of the other walks was to Bur Burnage into the Garden Village. A lot of people have never heard of Burnage Garden Village. Um, over the golf course, down to Irwood Road, into Burnage, around the Garden Village and back through Kringle Fields. And that is a really, really nice walk. All these walks, it's very difficult to say how long they take because basically how long, are you, how fast are you going to walk? How many people are you going to talk to? 
When are you going to sit down? When are you going to stand and stare? But the whole point of these walks is they're circular. If you get lost, there will always be somebody to ask the way back. There are always people to talk to. And the interesting thing is, when I was really investigating the country park, the number of people that could tell you the history of it, how once upon a time it was a pig farm and a brickworks, and then how it was filled in and it became a dump and then it was covered over and it was planted in the 60s. Um, how there are land drains underneath that need pumping out and the methane gas extracted before it's put into the general sewers. I, I was walking with a friend and we met a lady in, um, in an invalid buggy uh, with her little boy and we had this amaz amazing conversation for half an hour, her telling us about how, how she dealt with the schooling, um, what she thought of the park. And I think once you're walking, you're always going to come across like-minded people who enjoy walking as well. And I don't think I've ever come across somebody who didn't say hi and wouldn't want to stop for at least five minutes. It's a most amazing way of getting to know people. Right, some of the other walks that I haven't detailed, but they're all based on the Heathens. There's one that you can go down to Fog Lane Park, across to Didsbury, down into Fletcher Moss, along by the river, back into Green Pastures. You can go down to Green Pastures, along to the main road to Cheadle, go around Abney Hall and back, and there's lots of information on Abney Hall and the notice boards there. There's also a cafe at Abney Hall. You can go from Green Pastures along the river to Fletcher Moss, coming back along by the tramway. You can go along the river to Reddish Vale. You can go to Woodbank Park. There's a cafe in Woodbank Park. You can go to the golf club. You can walk in front of the golf club, down to um, Irwood Road, along Irwood Road, back to Green End Roundabout and back. That's a nice little short one. And there's the common. Now, maybe some people have never discovered the common. That is the jewel in the crown of the Heathens. The common has got a pond, it's got ducks, it's got woodland, it's got a stream, it's got a large expanse of grass. And I remember taking my granddaughter, who was three there not very long ago, and we came across two other little children with the grandmother. And they had a wonderful time. They climbed on tree trunks, they played hide and seek. They went along the top of the common where the dinosaur, somebody's nailed <laughs> dinosaurs to trees. And all the little children go along and find a, on a dinosaur hunt. And that is delightful. They chased butterflies, they ran, they splashed in puddles, they went down to the ponds, they fed the ducks, we picked blackberries. It didn't cost anything. It was a beautiful sunny day, but we didn't get the car out. She had a ball. It's just so, so wonderful. So yes, the important bit about where the cafes are, like I've mentioned, you've got cafes in Didsbury Park, that's really, they're all open, you probably not necessarily have to go in at the moment, but you can sit outside and have a coffee. There's a really nice cafe that's under new management at the top of the Fletcher Moss Gardens, and you can just sit and people watch, and it's a wonderful experience. Um, there's a coffee stall behind the library at Thornfield Park. There's plenty of pubs and cafes, and a lot of them these days are quite happy to have uh, dogs and children in because that's how they make their living. And finally, really, I was this summer going to do linear walks and I discovered that if you buy a day dog rover return, you can take the dog on a bus all day long for a pound. So I was going to do some linear walks and when I got tired, start jumping on buses to come back home. At the moment, obviously, not many people are really very happy about getting on buses. So, at least, walking in the Heathens, fresh air, the exercise, environmentally friendly, you're aware of your surroundings, you're finding out about the Heathens, you're meeting people, you're exercising, and you're feeling really good about it. It's just a wonderful, wonderful experience. Appreciate what we've got and enjoy it. It, I think this whole situation at the moment has made us appreciate what we are so, so very fortunate to have and how we've got to cherish it. So enjoy the Heathens.